I just spent the most money I've ever spent in one store. Good morning, YouTube land. Lee, the resale slugger here. Trying to get woken up, 6.30 in the morning. Trying to get woken up so I can go to a few garage sales and a few thrift stores. And to be honest, I just need to get back to the house and list up like 500 things that I already have. Today's gonna be one of those days where you go out and you look for the, the big ticket items. You don't try to get too much. You try to find some triples, some doubles, some home runs. You try to find the, the more expensive items to sell. But there's some type of crazy neon orange planet in front of me. You see that? It's almost like I woke up on a different stratosphere and now I'm seeing the end of days right in front of me. Big ball of fire. Yeah. You guys see that? So I wanted to talk to you guys about the reselling, what it is about reselling that is important to me. I don't know if you guys can relate, but for me, like when you resell, it's like every single day can be new. You constantly learn new stuff. For example, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to garage sales today, and I, I guarantee you 100%, I'm gonna find some stuff that I've never seen before that's gonna be some value to it. And I wanna learn about that item. And it's that constant learning that separates you from other people who are maybe a little bit lazier. I don't know about you, but when I worked in other jobs, you know, the quote is, people learn something new every day. And that's just not true when you work a normal nine to five usually. I did not learn anything new something new every single day it becomes redundant when you work a nine to five you might notice that when you take a sick day that you get tons of shit for it which hardly ever happens for me like I hardly ever take a sick day but if I ever did man do, do you do you hear about it like if, if they don't have enough people to cover you you just you, you feel so guilty about it you can't even recover right this is a job in, in the reselling world where you get what you give and you deserve breaks when you take them and you deserve rewards when you get them because you, you're always out there doing it. So when you're always out there doing it <clears throat> and you're always learning and you're always giving what you feel is a good amount of effort and then you push yourself and you give even more effort you get rewarded for that in some way if it's not like the money it's it's just the knowledge that you get I'm telling you guys I'm tired but I don't give a shit I really don't I don't give a shit how tired I am because you know I really want to do this you ever have that you ever just you're basically running on fumes, but you keep going. You wonder why. It's because you really, you really want to do this for a living. Like this is what you want. A normal son. That's not a normal thing that people see when they wake up. Today's gonna be a weird day. You guys are weird. You're a weird day. You guys are. Start time is 8 a.m. and it is 7 a.m. What do we do for another hour? What do we do? What are you gonna do? You gonna sit there and just twiddle your thumbs around and make faces? What are you gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look for another garage sale that's open now. That's what I'm gonna do because I want to go to garage sales right now. I didn't wake up early to sit around and wait. 8 a.m. You son of a gun. 
8 a m Seven thirty. Oh, and this one looks terrible. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Because there's people trying to make money here, and you guys are ruining it. Ruined all of it. Thrift stores aren't open. I don't want any food because I don't eat because I'm trying to do fasting to stay fit because I eat like crap when I do eat. <clears throat> Who else starts at eight? Ooh, pumpkins and glassware. 8 a.m. Oh. This isn't even a garage sale. Dude, that's not even a garage sale though. Come on. 8 a.m.s everywhere. I can't escape them. What am I gonna do? Bull crap. This stinks. So much for not giving a crap about today and just going easy and seeing where the universe takes me. Here we come to wreck the day. All right, boys and girls, I'm out of Walmart. And I got some stuff that I RA usually. Presto pressure cooker. Uh, Kerr brand pint jars, they're wide mouth. I think they're $8. I'll screenshot what they're worth. And I got me some wide mouth lids. Is some fresh fruit. Found some fresh fruit to hit with a baseball bat at the end of the videos. I know you guys are gonna enjoy me hitting the fresh fruit. And if you don't, then too bad because I'm doing it anyway. Because that's my trademark. Hitting fresh fruit. All right, grab me this uh, Asus router. Practically brand new in the box. So this might be about a $40 bill or so, maybe 50. That's it so far. So I spent $2 on these coach shoes here. And they're like wedge style ones. Got me a L2X Coolpix Nikon camera. the normal AA batteries. So they almost always uh, work out. $8 on that. That's a lot of stuff, man. All right, this might be my last garage sale, but I did find me. Whoa, almost dropped this shit. A pretty sweet Ferrari clock here. It lights up all around, lights up around the clock itself. I don't know, this was five dollars around 124 it maybe. One dollar coat rack. You gotta keep your workspace clean, so in my garage, I got me an industrial broom to sweep away the mess. You gotta keep your shit clean so you can focus. Dollar broom, dollar rake, dollar coat rack, five dollar clock. And at Walmart I found one of these for five dollars. The shy guy. Those are hard to find. So I grabbed it. Off to the thrift stores. All right, so no luck in Arc Thrift Store. Really, there was nothing. Goodwill. How good will you be to me, huh? Hey, Goodwill. Are you gonna be good to me? All right, Goodwill, we found. Come back here, glasses. We got a Smith Corona typewriter. And it appears to be never used. So, not a bad little score for $20.
Amazon showed that they're brand new. 350 and the used one is at 180 and I say since this one's like like new maybe it's a $200 bill. You know why? They got food to eat. We got Mountain Dew. Some Chipotle. Decided to go with the tacos this time. I never go with the tacos. I always go with the bowl. You guys a bowl, a burrito, or a taco Chipotle person? Tell me. I want to know. It's going in my belly right here. Going in there right now. How come they didn't pick up my packages? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I just broke the record for the most money ever spent in a store by me. I just spent the most money I've ever spent in one store. Let's take a look. A beautiful New York Yankees Dooney and Burke purse. Oh, how glorious. Look at the fine stitching and craftsmanship on this guy. $148. 50. Come back here. $59. I got 10 of these purses. I will show you what they're selling for on eBay. Also in that store, pick me up some of these guys. Just got some swimming fins. All right, swimming fins. So these were marked down to $10. And I'll show you what they're going for. These are for Amazon. Half eBay, half Amazon buy right here. Uh, price and merchant fulfilled on Amazon. And then after uh, the weekend's over, I'll see if any sell, and then I'll just throw them in the FBA after. So these are slightly different, and these are uh, some blue ones. Same brand by U.S. Divers. U.S. Divers uh, Pro Fit Comfort Fins, and they're blue. And I'll show you what these are selling for on Amazon right now. $10 a piece on clearance are a little bit higher up because they have the whole snorkel and the fins and these are women's adult size small medium a pretty solid fine for $16 on clearance at Marshall's we got four of those the last thing I picked up from Marshall's is one of these this was $16 air ergo system snorkeling system I'm uh, adult. I'll show you right now what that goes for. This was by far the most expensive one store trip I've ever had in my life. You ready to see this? $903.51 in one store. I have spent $200 in a store before, $300 in a store before but never $900 in one store before. This is crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But you know what? Guys, there's a winner in each one of you, but no one will ever see it if you don't take a swing. I took a swing, it's gonna pay off, man. It always does. When you take risks in life, you either learn from them or you get paid from them. Hopefully, I get a little bit of both. Until next time, guys, resell slugger out. Peace.